Published 1245 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 19th of March 2018. Updated 1245 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 19th of March 2018. Almost 29% of 15-year-olds in Britain now come from an immigrant background. New data from an international think tank reveals today. The figure is higher than the EU average of 21% but similar to both France, at 26%, and Germany, at 28%. The figure is higher in Ireland and Belgium. It includes second-generation immigrants, natives of mixed heritage, first-generation immigrants and people returning after being born abroad. The study, by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development OECD, also shows immigrant children who arrive in the UK aged. 12 or older are less likely to do well at school and to feel like they belong, according to a study. The findings come amid a fresh government push to encourage social integration in England's schools and communities. Almost 29% of 15-year-olds in Britain now come from an immigrant background. New data, pictured, from an international think tank reveals today. The figure is higher than the EU average of 21% but similar to both France, at 26%, and Germany, at 28%. The study is based on an analysis of the OECD's 2015 PISA tests, which are taken by 15-year-olds across 35 nations and economies, compared with PISA tests taken in 2003. The percentage of immigrant students in the UK rose by 9 percentage points, compared with an OECD average of around 6 percentage points and an EU average of around 7 percentage points. The study splits immigrant children into four categories, first generation, foreign-born children of foreign-born parents, second generation, UK-born children of foreign-born parents, native students of mixed heritage, those born in the UK, with one UK and one foreign-born parent, and returning foreign-born children, those born abroad to UK parents. The findings show that, in 2015, 73% of UK-born students of UK-born parents reached a baseline level of achievement in the 2015 PISA tests, which cover reading, maths and science, compared with 67% of all immigrant children. But a country note on the UK also says, in the United Kingdom, there is a considerably large penalty associated with late arrival of first-generation immigrant students. It also says that while those who arrived in the country before the age of 12 were as likely as native students to achieve baseline levels of academic achievement, those who arrived when they were aged 12 or older were 27 percentage points less likely than native students to achieve this level. The study, by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development OECD, also shows immigrant children who arrive in the UK aged 12 or older are less likely to do well at school and to feel like they belong. According to a study immigrant students with at least one UK-born parent had a similar chance of achieving baseline levels of achievement. Baseline achievement means, for example, that in maths they can carry out basic arithmetic when instructions are given, and deal with simple maths problems such as comparing distances between two routes or converting between currencies, while in reading they can read simple and familiar texts, connect information and draw inferences and connect a text to their own experience and knowledge. The OECD's report also says immigrant children who arrived in the UK and were after age 12 or 17 percentage points less likely than native students, and 20 percentage points less likely than immigrant children who arrived earlier in childhood, to say they felt a sense of belonging at school. The age at which foreign-born students immigrated is strongly related to the likelihood that they will report feeling a sense of belonging at school, the study says. It adds, in the United Kingdom, early arrivals exhibit no gap in sense of belonging compared to native students, while late arrivals are significantly disadvantaged. Earlier this month, ministers announced a proposed integrated community strategy, which includes measures to boost English language skills and plans to require schools whose pupils come from a single ethnic or religious community to ensure they mix with children from other backgrounds. The findings come amid a fresh push by Communities Secretary Sajid Javid to encourage social integration in England's schools and communities.